All right, now I want to show you some film clips and show you how the adjustments that we just talked about, uh, lock, top hat, in and out, uh, in and out lock and three way, how we practice them and how we uh, execute them in like a real live situation. Okay. One of the things that we, that we like to do because we play so much man is do two over two or three over three drills. Okay. So this is a, a really good time when maybe the, uh, the defense is in a uh, inside run period and, you, and rather than just doing one-on-ones all day, it's a really good opportunity to work some of your man-to-man uh, skills and adjustments during that time. So here we've got two wide receivers that are in a stack. We've got two guys here, two DBs that are out and in this situation, they're playing in and out. So what they're going to do is they're going to let the routes deploy and then they're going to match them as quickly as possible. So we'll watch how this plays out. Okay. You can see right away, this has been declared. Okay. This guy has, has waited, hesitated, given a slight outside move while this guy has taken off. So right now he's going to match here and he's going to have to come and match here. All right. You can see good patience. All right, and it's a, it ends up being an incompletion. He, we got a really good break on the ball, all right, but they do a nice job of playing that out. If we were getting a lot of this, we'd probably go to some type of lock or top hat potentially, but for this call, again, we don't overcoach them. Make the call they feel comfortable with and go out and execute it, okay? Here's something else that you've got to be ready for when you work these adjustments, all right? And I'm going to show you some different things to just keep in mind because you have to understand what becomes a stack and what becomes a bunch. So here, we're, we're simulating a receiver that's inside that outside motions. You might get the same thing with an outside receiver that motions down to a stack or bunch okay so here they're going to motion and what you're seeing if i if you pay attention okay to these guys here you can see that they're touching their chest which is the hand signal we have for in and out okay what that tells us is is right now on film i can tell that this guy makes a call to the corner and the corner hears it because he gives it back so they now are going to execute an in and out after the motion okay again same thing routes have deployed okay right now it's over we've got a match okay We've got a match. We've got to know now go get in the hip pocket. Go be physical. This is a really good job by our inside player here. This is a tough route as a receiver comes inside, breaks back to the out, but he does a good job of staying there and going and playing the ball. Okay. Again, one of the things we talk about contested catches, even if this is a completion, Hey, it is what it is. They executed their job and it was a contested uh, catch. In this case, this guy does a great job of playing through the hands. Both guys match it and it, and it plays out pretty good. Okay. Here's another example, stack, okay? This is slight. I put this on here because this is a tough thing to, uh, to defend, okay? But you'll notice that this back side, the back receiver here has a slight outward angle, okay? So right now, he is going to match this. He's got to go be physical. He's going to match this and go be physical. Even though it's not much, they have given enough to tell us that this is how it's going to be and we got to go play ball. Now, you'll notice that both guys, they actually break away from our leverage. That's a tough thing to combat when you're playing in and out. It's something that is a weakness to it. If you're getting a lot of that, then you need to change up your call. You need to play lock or something like that. But the way that they execute this is spot on. Okay, we need to have a little bit tighter coverage here, a little bit more contested catch, but both guys do a pretty good job of matching that right away. Okay, here it is in a seven on seven situation. Now, both sides are playing in and out to the stack. Okay. All right, 